Let's get started to make some cute gifts and fun treats to give out to people. So here we have our little chapstick case that you can carry with you. And they're easy and fun to make and don't take a lot of fabric or supplies. In this case, I am using vinyl because it does have a raw edge. You can get vinyl on Etsy. They usually come in sizes between um, 8 by 12 around that. And you can make several of them. I made about six of them out of an 8 by 12. They're great for gifts and easy for beginners and lots of fun. So all you need for this is you're going to need one four inch by one and a half inch piece of vinyl. You will also need one two and a half inch by one and a half inch piece of vinyl. And you're going to need a clasp with a loop or a little clasp. You don't have to have the lobster clasp or swivel clasp, but you want the loop so it can be hung on something. You're going to take the four by one and a half inch, put it aside for now, that's for the back. The two and a half by one and a half inch is for the front. You're going to turn it over and then you're going to fold it a quarter inch back and you're going to want to sew along this side. If you have a little difficulty, you may want to move it and start in the end. You're just basically tacking it down across so that you have a nice finished edge across the top. So let's go. Now we're going to put it together. We're going to take the back, which is four inches by one and a half inches, turn it over and take the front that we just sewed the top edge of, and we're going to place it on top here. And we are going to sew along all three edges, an eighth of an inch seam allowance down, across and up, and then go back again a second time to secure it because it'll get a lot of use. You can use a clip or a pin if you need to, to go ahead and clip it down. Clips are better if you pin it. Once you put a hole in it, that hole stays. So let's take a look and let's get sewing. Now that we've sewn the front to the back, we're going to go ahead and make the loop portion. So we're going to fold this down the back to the front and have it meet the edge of the top of the front piece here. Put a little clip that'll just help you hold it here. And then you're going to go ahead and just trim a little bit about a 45 degree angle here and a 45 degree angle here. And that's going to give you what you need just to give that a little space like you see there I'm move the clip out of the way it's kind of in my way here and then i'm going to go ahead and do the same here and now you see you have this little angle here that's where the loop is going to go on and then what we have here is the front and the back. Now what we will do is we're gonna stitch down here, to uh, back and then forth again, and then closer up about a half to three eighths of an inch down from where we're gonna place our ring, again, down and back, or twice for each. So close eighth of an inch at the edge of the vinyl here, down and up, and then down and up again.
ring in the back here. Now let's make our little treat pocket here. You can put inside this treat pocket some money, gift cards, or some candies. You can also use, instead of a cam snap, you can use Velcro um, to do this as well. So you don't have to use a cam snap if you choose not to. This is fun and easy. These are also great projects for kids or beginners, and they're great to give as gifts. So you're gonna need a four by six inch piece of vinyl, and you're going to take that vinyl and decide what side is going to be folded. Now, because this is directional, you see here, I have it going down, but in the front, I wanted it to be facing up, so I'm going to fold it in that manner. If it's non-directional, you don't have to worry about it, but in this case, it is. So what I want to do is make sure that when I'm folding, I'm looking to see that I have it upright and then upright on the bottom piece. So here, I'm going to want to add just a little bit of a rounded piece there, or you could leave it straight just like this, or you can round it, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take it and fold it, and then get my scissors, and I'm going to go ahead and just round out that corner just a tiny bit, tiny bit, and you don't have to do this, but you can, and then you got it rounded for your pattern. Now we're going to take it and we're going to go ahead and fold it about two and a quarter, two and a half inches because you want to be able to fold this down like that here. Okay. You want to be able to see that that's, that's where you're going to be able to fold it and that's what you're going to do here. Um, so you can see how much you have. Let's look at the cam set next. We're gonna go ahead and make our holes in this for the cam snap assembly. And what we will do again is go ahead and fold this about two and a quarter inches up here, two and a quarter inches up. And then we're gonna go ahead and fold this down a little bit as well so that it overlaps. You want an overlap here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pin one side, clip, and clip again. I said pin earlier, but clip, because you will make a hole in it. And once a hole is in it, it's permanent. So you wanna be careful of that. You wanna line it up here where I have four across and about just above the center, center it. And you want to be maybe about a half of an inch to three eighths. Take it all and you're gonna just pierce it. And you wanna be able to pierce and go through to the second piece. I'm gonna take down my clip off because I've got it held and just push through, but not through the back, only through the front flap that I'm pushing now and also the piece that it's gonna attach to this front bottom piece and this here, but not the back as you can see. So I'm just making a little hole there and take that out, unclip these, get those out of my way. And now I'm going to go ahead and put my cam snap on. Now with a cam snap, this is a cam snap device. It's just a little tool squeezes here and we're going to use this for that. I'm going to take one of the caps, put it on it through my vinyl, push it, sometimes it takes a minute or two and push that through and you want this facing out the button and then you're going to take one of the cam snaps and cam snaps have two sides like a male and a female side or an a and b and you see here i'm going to bring it up close so you can see how they look just a little bit different but you want one of each on each side so i'm going to take one and place it here and they may fall off until you squeeze it and it's pressure that basically allows it to stay so i've got it both sides I'm going to take the cam snap here and I'm going to place it on 
on the inside and you want to make sure that it's completely covered because if you get it where it's not cam snap it won't it won't be secure and then I'm going to push down and squeeze like I'm doing right here and then you're going to see cam snap now is on and this little button here is what gets pushed in here and now it's secure so we're going to do the other side now this side I want to make sure that I have the piece that is going to take the attachment so they button up together and facing up I'm going to take the button side of it put it on the inside of my little pouch here or my treat bag my treat little pocket and then I'm going to push again where I put it here just like that I'm going to take my cam snap tool place it right over and you can see here what that looks like there and then squeeze and you can get a cam snap and um, the cam uh, snap tool together on eBay, Instagram, I mean eBay, Amazon, or Etsy. And they cost maybe around $20 with actual cam snaps. Um, here I've got cam snaps that you can pick from. So I just keep a bunch of them. It didn't cost much at all. And then now you can see here that it snaps and it's good to go. Now we just have to sew the sides. When we sew the sides, we're going to open it up, place a clip, and a clip here, and then we're going to sew down and up, or twice, and then same thing, down and up and twice, a double stitch. So follow me, and we'll do that now.